Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena, and today we're making a direct comparison between the fingerprint scanners in the Apple iPhone 5S and the Samsung Galaxy S5. Apple shifted the mobile biometry paradigm with this unique Touch ID sensor that it embedded in the home key. It uh, actually indeed senses your fingerprint the second you lay a digit on the home key. This method provides uh, more convenience during the everyday interaction with your phone as it avoids uh, the extra swipe motion that we've come to associate with such finger scanners uh, so far. Besides unlocking the display, you can also use the sensor to ID purchase uh, authorizations for your iTunes account instead of uh, keying in the credential, which is uh, more convenient, fast and easy. Samsung was apparently bent to respond and integrated a swipe finger scanner in the Galaxy S5's uh, home key in its turn. The two sensors actually work in quite a different manner. Samsung uh, utilizes the more traditional swipe way like that. The iPhone's dimensions make Touch ID way easier to use with one hand. Plus uh, it only requires you to land your finger on the home key and wait for a brief second for it to work. The S5 size uh, and the fact that its finger scanner works uh, as exactly a scanner means you're at risk of dropping the handset while swiping uh, over the home key with one hand so it takes a bit longer to master. Samsung also leverages the finger scanner for secure payment uh, authorizations when purchasing uh, content with Samsung services and also adds a convenient PayPal authorization which works in 26 countries. Okay, now let's compare how you're actually registering those fingerprints. Upon initial setup, uh, Apple's creation takes a snapshot of a fingerprint in all of its possible positions. So you can unlock the phone with the slightest touch, uh, no matter how crooked your digit lands. You place uh, your finger on the home key like that. And the phone reads every nook and cranny in your fingertip, which of course is uh, unique for each person. And now here comes uh, the trick. Apple asks you to actually rest the edges of your finger on the home button repeatedly. So it can register the sides of the fingertip quickly. That's it. So no matter actually how your finger lands on the home key, We'll ask you for a password at the beginning. No matter if you put it uh, straight on, like that, or a little bit on the side, depending on how you're holding your handset, it will still unlock the phone, authorize your iTunes purchases, and so on. Let's see how Samsung does it. Its finger scanner is uh, actually exactly that, a scanner. So you need to swipe like that, which uh, would be very uncomfortable if you're holding the phone with one hand. You actually have to use the other hand and then swipe uh, over the home key. But there's uh, this little trick we want to show you. If you swipe the way you would unlock your handset when holding it with one hand, something like that, in a diagonal way to the home key, not uh, perpendicular you will actually in the end be able to unlock your Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, with one hand using the finger scanner. That's it. You need to enter a password of course, just like with uh, Apple's Touch ID. Here we go. Now it will ask you which uh, unlock method you want to use. Fingerprint lock is enabled and let's check it out. Okay, this little animation here shows you that the fingerprint method is selected. And here you go. So for those who say that Samsung Galaxy S5 cannot be unlocked uh, with the fingerprint sensor while holding the phone with one hand, that's not true. You can actually figure it out. It's just uh, harder to master due to the Galaxy S5's dimensions uh, in comparison with the iPhone 5S. 
and also the fact that it's a uh, finger scanner requires you to swipe over it instead of uh, simple touching like uh, on the Apple iPhone 5s. So all in all the Samsung Galaxy S5 has uh, a pretty versatile finger scanner. It's just uh, not as uh, convenient to use as the Touch ID on the Apple iPhone 5s but uh, it definitely works as advertised. This was uh, a video comparison between Apple's uh, Touch ID fingerprint sensor on the iPhone 5s and the finger scanner on the Samsung Galaxy S5. For more information about these two handsets you can visit us at phonearena.com.